everyone welcome to Terra special in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to download wastewater treatment plants location using hydro sheets so let me show you how to visit this uh, visit this uh, website type in hydro sheets and press the button enter so you can see the first uh, uh, link Hydrosheds www.hydrosheds.org. So just click in. So this is the official uh, web page. Here under the option products, just click the option products, and you can find the waste uh, treatment plants in the option hydro waste. Select it, and just come down. You can see. Uh, it is available for a global level and uh, around 58,000 wastewater treatment plants and their characteristics has been given in this database and uh, let me show you so this this is how the data looks like you can see how much people is uh, it is uh, serving so less than 50,000 uh, from 50,000 to 5 lakh or more than 5 lakhs so that has been shown over here so let me show you how to download this just come down and you can see the button data download just uh, click here so it is around 2.3 MB and it is being given in a CSV file format so let me open this file so let me extract this okay so I have extracted the file successfully so let me open it and show you how the CSV file looks like. So you can see the uh, region's name, country, country code. You can see the lat long look and uh, you can see the status and how much population it has been serving. So likewise data can be found over here. So let me show you how to convert this to N shape file in QJS. Just open the QJS and now you can find the option. Add a delimited text layer, select it, and now we need to just bring in the downloaded CSV file. Just click the downloaded CSV file and hit the button open. Here under the X you have to select long and Y you have to select lat and we have to specify the coordinate system geometry so defaultly I have just uh, leave it as uh, uh, EPSG 4326WGS84 and now hit the button add so once you have done it so automatically the, the CSV file will be converted to a shape file so you can see over here it has been converted to a shape file uh, actually you can just visualize it it is not being converted into a shape file we need to convert it and for that go to the option just select the file and go to the option export and select the button save feature as and here we need to specify the file name or you can directly browse by clicking this button so you can see you can select a desired location file location and save it so let me put the name for it sorry let me give a name for it And hit the button save and uh, hit the button OK so you can see here it has been converting to a shape file so from CSV it has been converted to a shape file so it has been successfully converted to a shape file so let me remove the previous file and now uh, let me add the base map and you can see the locations so if you have any doubts on this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions thanks for watching terra special goodbye everyone